given that I'm a little nervous right now, I'm going to do what I always do when I'm nervous or afraid, um, and that's start with prayer. So if y'all bow, bow your heads with me. Dear God, thank you for calling us all here tonight. Lord, we pray for your presence among us. And we, we all want to know you more through this event. It's all for you, Lord. In your son's name we pray. Amen. So my journey as a Christian dates back as far as I can remember. I was raised in the church. My parents were Christian. Um, but I wouldn't say I was much more than a Sunday morning Christian. I would listen to sermons, sing the songs, and pray the prayers. By the time I was back watching the NFL games later that afternoon, or walking the hallways of school on Monday, God was at best in Africa. I can't stand before you today and tell you that I was miserable because of that. Far from it, I actually think I had it pretty good. But looking back, there was clearly something missing. And I found that something my junior year of high school. I was scrolling through Twitter one day and happened to come across the link to a sermon that was being streamed live online by Pastor Rick Warren. So I clicked on it out of nothing more than curiosity. Within a few moments of turning it on, Pastor Rick was telling his audience this. He said, it's not an accident that of all the places where you could be right now, of all the words you could be listening to, that you're listening to these. Of all the times in history you could have been alive, and of anywhere you could be, God planned for you to be here, now. I felt God with me in my room as I watched that sermon, just as I feel his presence with us tonight. Now, I didn't suddenly become a perfect Christian as soon as I finished watching that sermon, nor am I one now, not even close. But that's the amazing part of his grace. I don't have to. John 3.16 tells us that God loves us so much that he sent his one and only son to die for us, to save us, to forgive us for all our sins. And once I started to wrap my mind around that, it really did change my life. And it changed it for the better. Not too long ago, I came up with a little phrase that I've tried to base my life around. And it's FTFG. It stands for From, Through, For God. I'll explain that to you tonight. The from means that everything I have in my life comes from God. It means that everything I have in my life comes from God. Of course, that means great things, like speaking here tonight, having my coach and teammates here supporting me. But it also means that the struggles are from God too because like all of y'all, I've had some dark storms in my life. I got cut from a basketball team as a sophomore. I got rejected by many of the colleges that I applied to. And when everybody else walked out, God remained. God's had a purpose and a plan throughout my entire life and he's been present through every struggle and every glory I've had. I believe that his plan has led me to LaSalle and honestly has led me to this field right now. So that's all from God. The through means that everything in my life I do through him. In fact, my favorite verse in the Bible is from the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The Christian life is not meant to be easy, it's meant to be difficult. There's times when standing up for my faith has meant running in contrary to what's popular, what's convenient, what other people are doing. But Jesus tells us that with